All right, we're gonna be forced to mulligan again, unfortunately. That's very keepable, though. Uh, I'm not in love with the fourth land, but I'm gonna keep it, I think, here. Opponent with pilfering imp, turn one. Quite bad for us. All right, let's run out the spy bug. House Guild Mage. I will get in for the damage there. I think it's a little greedy to try to ambush the imp. I think it will trigger um, him making me discard. And I might be able to ambush the guild mage here, which would be great. I was considering tapping down the spy bug. Or rather, for a chat who always makes the mistakes that this card can tap things, holding my spy bug tapped, rather. Is that a 1, a 2, and a 3? Not directly on curve, but pretty close. I'm not blocking with the spy bug, so. Getting for damage. I will block with the Nightville Sprite on the Imp. The Shade's a little scary. I don't have a good answer to it quite yet. I don't want to have to waste hard removal on it. But we'll see. The moment he can pump it to 4-4, four, uh, four, four, which trades for the Whisper Agent. And if I were to gang block, it still trades. Okay, I like his pre-combat notion rain for me. I think it's a bad play on his part. If he um, instead pre-combat just attacked, I'm not going to block the Shade and he gets in for damage. And this now he doesn't. Uh, we saw another shade. I don't love this card. I think this card is its annoying to deal with on the opponent's side, but I think it's also very annoying to play. It's kind of a weak 2-2 two -two most of the time. Yeah, okay, sure. All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to run out Watcher in the Mist. I'll do it pre-combat, so I get the... Uh, Decision for my, uh, excuse me, for the pump for my spy bug. And this is my problem always with imp, is that up till now my opponent has not had a good time to use the imp. He hasn't found that he's had the mana to uh, to stop casting spells long enough to look in my hand. And this is what the imp always does for me, too. All right, he's tapping down the spy bug, it looks like. Maybe this turn is a hand he molests my hand. We'll see. The turn he molests my hand, rather. Capture Sphere on my Watcher. Okay. Probably going to deadly visit the Guild Mage. It's uh, representing a lot of damage lost right now. Guess I should look at one card first. Then look at two. Seems fine. I actually could use a third land right now. Let's be play out Notion Rain plus Dark Blade Agent. Alright. He's got a 6-6 Spy Bug to deal with, and he just Capture Sphered my Watcher. Seems a weird one to Capture Sphere in that order. Like, I understand that on his on that exact turn, it was better for him to Capture Sphere the Watcher. He gets in for one damage, but it feels like in general that that is a lesser of the two things he wants to do. So, um, 
What do we see from his ground game? A couple shades. I'm actually pretty pleased with the Cyclops versus Shade. Yeah, it's often going to trade, but it gets the Shade out of my way for a creature that I'm happy to sacrifice. Um, I don't think I want to bring in the Severed Strands quite yet. I didn't see a lot of massively threatening creatures. Pretty happy with my deck's configuration versus him right now. So let's just go to the next game. Crazy deck you're building over there. All right. One is playing Demir. We took game one. Going to game two. They'll go first again. YouTube's quality is better? In terms of what? Yeah, that seems very unlikely. Alright, uh... A little bit slow of a hand. Our first play isn't until turn 4, but I have 3 lands of all the colors. Imp on 1 is certainly annoying. See, this is when you want Imp, I guess, but... If you top deck that later, it's quite quite irritating. So we'll see. Maybe this time I lose my Night Veil Predator. Maybe not. Maybe he just lets me play it out because he wants to do other things. A red mana source in there. So we're going to see something splash for. I don't know what it is yet. Probably Raw, but maybe not. Same exact opening for my opponent. Okay. Another red mana. Okay. Well, he's going to be kicking himself in a minute because, uh... We get our vampire on four. Fifth mana source is fine. Doesn't matter which one I play. Guess I prefer the island slightly. So again, with a 1-2-3 curve, no time to pop the imp. Good curve for my opponent. It's a nice opening from his deck. He's got to be happy with it. Crawl Swarm to the graveyard, sure. Silent Dart to the graveyard. I think he's digging for lands is what it feels like over there. Yeah, that's fine. This is what the Whisper Agents are in the deck for. We're on the Dowser of Lights plan. I could also consider just preemptively deadly visiting his guild mage. I'm a little bit weak to uh, him looking in my hand and removing it, but maybe not. He's on low mana. It's going to be tough for him to take advantage of the guild mage's abilities. Esmeris doesn't seem that strong to me. But sure. What's it going to do? Is it going to gang block my Dowser? It doesn't seem very likely. Alright, so I've got six lands. The, the easy play is going to be Piston Sis plus Notion Rain. I guess if I should, uh, I should double check that first. We use the Swamp. Make sure. See what we get. Seems great. Run out of land, go to combat. Get in for seven and run out the Piston Fist. Pretty straightforward. Just best use of our mana. I don't really need to hold up Dazzling Lights. I'm okay if the Piston Fist dies. Opponent hit his fourth land. It's down to eight, getting pretty low. Is it really time to crack the imp? It's not exciting. If he wants to spend all his mana cracking the imp, I'm pretty pleased about that. I 
think he's going to tap down Dowser. But who knows what he's got in his hand. Nothing. Artful takedown, I guess. That's the only thing that makes any sense from my perspective. So let's go to combat first. Let's play our land first, then go to combat. So I guess he kills Piston Fist, taps, taps a Dowser. Okay. Let's get in with the Night Vale Predator. Run out of Watcher in the Mist. I'm trying to decide about the Bat or not, or the Burglar Rat or not. I think I'm going to. I'm not really that interested in um, Dazzling Lighting him this turn. So I think Burglar Rat first before I play the card. So he may be like, I don't know what he'd throw away differently, but maybe a, like a hypothesis or something that would deal with this but doesn't deal with the rest of the board he might consider tossing right now. Dowser, sure. Quite happy with an Artful Takedown. Don't need the next land. Okay. So as it stands right now, even if he holds the Imp Black back, to uh, chump block, he's dead. Because I'll just artful take down and deal with it. Now he's definitely dead. He looks like he has two blockers, but he does not. So we'll deal with that. And that's game. All right, pretty straightforward. Again, our deck is very strong. We drew very strong cards. That's how it works out. Um, uh, that's That game is like the perfect highlight of why I don't like that imp. Because the imp does exactly what it does there. If he's a 1-1, one, one, even that's the ideal turn for him, right? He gets it down on 1. He gets in for 4 or 5 damage with a 1-1 one, one flyer. That's great. I mean, that's that's pretty damn good for a 1-1 one, one flyer, I guess. But it doesn't change the outcome of the game. Like He never had the tempo to pop the thing. And it's not like a hawk that's healing him or something like that. So 